Hey guys, it is a nice warm day in February. It's about eight degrees. I've been working on a couple things that I normally couldn't do in the winter and it's uh, yesterday was the same way. So uh, I'll take you guys along and show you what I've been up to. I'm more or less been working on this roof to try and clear out the 65. I drove the 65 with the old rake um, earlier in the summer. It'll, uh, I'll show you the video, it'll be up here somewhere um, of me raking with it. But that tractor has a little bit of electronic issues, so I haven't really been running it that much. But uh, I gotta get this roof off and this garbage off, so at least that it's usable. So guys, this is just from the top here. It's not too bad of a slope. Um, just up here on the top to give you guys an idea of the kind of what I was working on and how much I had to take off. This is the first day of two where I worked on this, and. Um, as you can see, it's it's not too bad. The roof actually isn't that bad. The tin isn't that bad. It just came down. But the snow is just starting to leave here. And um, now it's fully gone. This was day one. And uh, I just had to take advantage of these two warm days and get as much done as I could. So here you can see I had a little bit off. But um, I... This is very tedious because what I was doing was I was literally taking it off one nail at a time. By the time I was done, I had half a garbage bag full of nails. But um, I wanted to do that because one of the issues I found was if you take these off too fast and you just start ripping nails everywhere, you're going to put nails through tires. And this is an area that I do drive through with a tractor and equipment. And I wanted to make sure I had as least amount of nails as possible because there's already a good portion of nails in the ground before I even got started and I also wanted to organize it so it didn't become a mess. So I could stack all the tin in one pile so when the scrap guy comes I can just basically unload it and it's gone. Um, the 65 here I, as you can see is pretty buried. I'll have to take some of that weight off. Once the tin is off here I can chop this in pieces and then I can take those um, those beams off. Th they, these are all telephone poles and what we would call a bank barn or a pole barn. It was put up a while back, but it has come to its end of its life. So I got to chop it up, got a little firewood here, and hopefully I can put a new building up and be able to have some sort of use for the area. So the big reason why this became more of a uh, need to do situation was is I had my Landini go down for a couple days, and I've realized very quickly that when you get in that situation where you don't have an, uh, at least one tractor to be able to uh, move hay or do anything, you get stuck very quickly and you need to start looking for alternatives on how you can get your cattle fed or your barn scraped or anything done. And uh, if I have this secondary tractor out, at least I can do that and I can make it so that they can at least get hay when they need and everything can get by. So I figured that's the this is the easiest way, and I wanted to clean this up anyway because it was becoming a mess. But it's uh, that that's why I did this and made sure that I got it done and got it done while it was a nice warm day. So guys, this is where we got to today. Um, I could have took those two last pieces off, but unfortunately, I felt the wood rotting from under me, so I didn't want to go through the floor. But overall, it's pretty much done. Now I can chop this up, burn it, and uh, get the weight off the 65 and kind of start cleaning it up. But um, hopefully I can get it done the next warm day. Um, I have another warm day coming up Thursday or Friday, I think, where they said there's another warm day to get your stuff done. But uh, that's what I've been up to today, guys. Hope you enjoyed the nice warm weather. Thanks for watching. Feel free to comment, rate, and subscribe.